Hello and welcome to One Card Wonder Wednesday for Wednesday, July 25th, 2018. I hope everyone's doing well. Um, I wanted to show you how to make this adorable little um, jungle themed card. Uh, I used the Animal Outing set, which is really cute. It has the kangaroo and the, with the koala, um, the giraffe, the little frog. Um, the rhinoceros with the little bird and some adorable little sayings. I use the Wild About You saying for today's card. I also used Whisper White cardstock for the back. And I used some of the Animal Expedition Designer Series paper. And I've layered these so you can see, like this would be the front of this one and the back is the giraffe print. The front of this one is just like a smaller print of the first paper and the back is this beautiful um, calypso coral print I believe. Actually yeah calypso coral sorry excuse me. Um, this little frog paper I think is just adorable. I think the, with the two frogs sitting cut with a little heart would be adorable for a wedding card or engagement card. The little birds with the leaves and this has the pretty um, lemon lime twist background that I'm using today. There's another piece of it right there. This is gorgeous, this melon mambo print that's on the back of the, on the back of the birds. Also there is, if I can get a hold of my paper here, the paper with the hippos, which I think is cute with the little butterflies on their noses and flying around with this gray background. The alligators or crocodiles, I don't know which one these are, I'm just going to say alligators with this um, beautiful green background. Anyway, so that's the Animal Expedition paper. That's one of the papers that is on sale. Buy three, get one free this month. So if you want to stock up on paper, now is the time. So I made the one with the giraffe and the little frog earlier, but for the card that I'm going to make on camera, I also cut out a little rhinoceros with the bird, which I think is really adorable. I'm just going to set this card to the side and I'll get started with this one. Super easy. I'm just going to take the patterned paper and use my snail adhesive to adhere it to the Whisper White cardstock. And this is just a... Um, the regular size card that will fit in our envelopes. It's 11 inches long, or I'm sorry, eight and a half inches long by five and a half inches wide, this one. Now I'm gonna take a piece of the burlap ribbon, which I think is just adorable, and I finally bought some so I could use it, and I'm just gonna cut a little tail for each end take a small piece of tear and tape, which you don't need a really big piece. You just need enough to hold it down so it doesn't um, move around on your card, you know, after you get everything stuck down. I'll put that about a third of the way up, between a quarter and a third of the way up, I guess. And just peel that backing off and just stick your ribbon down. Doesn't have to be perfect because as we know, sometimes the imperfect is even cuter. I like the way these ends are curling up a little bit. Now I took a piece of Whisper White cardstock. It's almost an inch and a half wide and it's four and a half inches long and I'm just using the triple banner punch. And before I even stamp, which normally I wait until after I stamp to punch, but for this card, it needs to be punched first because I want the wild about you to be at the bottom of the banner. So, I've got the Wild About You sentiment and I'm going to use Memento ink. I'm just going to ink it up and I will stamp it just down near the bottom of the banner. Perfect. Cover my ink back up just because we don't want them to dry out. Set that aside. Now I took a small amount of snail and I just put it on the paper underneath the ribbon and above the ribbon. And then I flipped this Whisper White cardstock over and just put a little bit at the top. So that's the next thing you want to do is adhere this down just so it's already there. And just give it just a little bit of wiggle room right here because you're going to want your leaf to be able to fit under there. But it's, it's not like raised, it's just a tiny bit 
and I'll put it toward the camera so maybe you can see it's just got a little bit of wiggle room there so I took for this this card I used a piece of poppy parade and I used the if I can find up my layering squares and I cut out the large well one of the larger scalloped squares and then I also cut out the other this square using one of the layering squares and I'm just gonna layer those together I still think these hippos on this side are adorable I'm gonna have to come up with a card with those because I just think they make a cute card or even on a scrapbook page if you've gone to the zoo or something that would be perfect for this paper and now for the same with this we're just gonna adhere it down with some snail adhesive we're just gonna put it right above the wild about you I told you this card is very simple but it looks really cute when you get it done I've already added some dimensionals to the back of the little square that has the rhinoceros with the bird I'm just gonna peel those off sometimes the cutest cards are the easiest and this is one of those times I believe now I am using some of the leaves trinkets that are in the catalog and they go with the rooted in nature bundle I believe that's what it's called rooted in nature that's what the stamp sets called anyway um, but I think they go really cute with this stamp set as well and I just did the little single leaf and I will just get a little glue down on it and fold that glue dot over. And since we've already got this, given this a little bit of wiggle room, I'm still just gonna slide my scissors under there just to hold it up just long enough to get this little leaf. If I would have been smart, I would have stuck it in earlier, but I wanna make sure I get it in the right spot and I don't want it to be further underneath the wild about you. Now these leaves trinkets, I was gonna show you real quick if I can get them open. They're not just the single leaf. There are some that have triple leaves on them and they come in the copper and the silver colors. So I've used some of them, so obviously I don't have as many in here. So anyway, that is today's One Card Wonder Wednesday. Just quickly fold it, crease it with the um, bone folder, and there you have it. Now see this ribbon because it's just adhered in the center that one was moving a little bit. I must not have got a big enough piece of um, tear and tape underneath it. But really cute, very simple. I used Melon Mambo on this one and I used Poppy Parade on this one. I just wanted to give them a little bit of feel so you can be a boy, girl. Um, not that pink is necessarily a girl color, but a lot of boys don't prefer that color. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed today's. I hope you love the animal outing set as much as I do. Make sure you stock up on paper this month because like I said, it is on sale. I will see you next week. Have a great day. Bye.